Hello, this is Anthony for the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Today we're going to be doing a, an iPhone 3G uh, screen replacement. So we're basically going to take the, the LCD and digitizer, the whole front panel off this broken one, and we're going to be putting it on this broken one to make one good uh, working unit. So the tools you need for this is some kind of a prying device just to get the, the plug ribbons out. And then I have a, you need one small Phillips head screwdriver preferably something with magnetic tip so you don't lose the screws. And then here's the secret, the one suction cup. I got this from an old GPS unit and this will be to pull the, the screen off. It's which is far easier than prying it, as you've seen in uh, previous videos. So let's start with the, the broken one. We're gonna take these two screws out of the bottom here, these two Phillip head screws. So we'll just use our screwdriver and take these out. There's one. I want to save those two to make sure we can put it back. And here's the second one coming out now. There's two. So the magnetic tip's a lot easier for pulling these out. Okay, now here's the secret. You just stick that in, put that down there. You want to make sure the phone's off actually. Let me just turn it off real quick. One second. Slide. There we go. And then we'll put that back on again. And then we just want to give this a good pull from, you want to pull from this side, from where the home key is, to the back. And it should pop off. You can release. Now you have these plugs. This is where you need the the adapter, the, the pry tool for. You can see there'll be never, these two have already come off. One, there'll be never one, two, and three. Usually one comes off when you take it off. So you wanna undo two. Sometimes you might need a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes they're stuck in there pretty well. Yeah, flathead screwdriver actually works better. And right here you see a little clip on three. You wanna gently lift that clip up like that and it'll pop right off. So keep this, set this aside, and now we're gonna have to do the same thing with our other one. So we'll go into the Phillips head screwdriver again, take these screws out. One. So this is actually my friend's iPhone and the bottom of the LCD panel was unresponsive. So we're gonna switch it out with a functional one. And you can buy the LCD and digitizer already put together. They're like 100 bucks or so on eBay. So I'm gonna lock the suction cup in place and then pull out from the bottom, from the home key, slide that off. Now I'm gonna take this out again. These ones have already popped off. And then you should use the flathead screwdriver, it's a little easier. Pop that out, separate. So this is the non-functional one. Now we're gonna place the functional one back on. Here's a little tricky part. You wanna put them back in reverse order. So you wanna put three in first, which is pretty much the hardest one. It has to just slide in. So let me do this so you guys can see it too. This is a little tricky. Okay, now that I finally got that third one in, I said number three is pretty hard, it's that little one. And then you wanna secure the clip down. And then we'll put on number two and number one. So just make sure until they clip in. Number two is clipped in, then you're gonna click in number one. Number one's pretty much kind of hard to get into as well. You just want to wait for it to clip. 
there we go, we got one clipped in, so they're all clipped in. Put it back in from the top to the home screen until it clicks in. And then we'll reinsert the little screws with our magnetic tip sure. Phillips head. One. Or two. And the second one. Okay, just tighten them up and power back on. And it should be good to go. So that's uh, how you change the LCD and digitizer, the front panel from uh, for the iPhone 3G. It's Anthony for the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Thanks.